What's up everyone, today we have this, the Razer uh, Death Adder V3 uh, gaming mouse. Uh, we're gonna see um, what's in the box and we'll plug it into a computer and test it out. Wow, cool way to open a box, look at that. Now that's an unboxing. Here we have a packet of like manuals and stuff and the all important sticker set. So <clears throat> when you get a, cr wait, I don't think this has RGB lighting because I, I just got a Razer keyboard and it has chroma RGB lighting and you get this one, the silver Razer logo. Here you get the green one and same for the the words that says razor in green, that one says razor in silver, like or chroma or whatever you want to call it. Because when you move around the light, you see like rainbow effects and stuff. Okay. Okay then. And even the uh, the part number for it says green here. This one says chroma V two. I don't know if you guys see that. Yeah, whatever, small detail. All right, on to what you're here for. Mouse. It comes in this nice uh, bag. Hold on, let me close this. Okay, it's got a texture to it. The bag has some strings falling off of it. Cool. Okay. Cable tie. Uh, connector cover. So it looks like a shoelace, honestly, that's coming out of this thing. But maybe that's good. DPI switch. Pretty nice ergonomic shape. Back and forth buttons. Uh, scroll wheel up and down, you can press the scroll, you can't push the scroll, can you push it side to side? No, you can't, only push it down. Doesn't, it doesn't do side to side, well, it's fine. Very nice shape though, actually. Very comfortable to use, nice and big. All right, let's plug it in and see what it can do. <clears throat> as you can tell, I'm filming the keyboard video as well. So it works, obviously. Right click works. Oh, Razer wants me to install something. Yeah, you'll get this when you. Uh... Congratulations on getting your Razer Death Adder V3 connected. Have fun exploring the following features. Calibrate your sensors lift off and land distances by up to 26 levels using asymmetric cutoff or greater level of precision with up to six programmable buttons. Are there six? One, two, three, four, five. I can, I can count five unless you count the DPI button. <laughs> uh, enable Razer HyperShift technology, double the number of custom modules. Okay. I'm not gonna install it here. It's meant to go on this computer back here. That's why I bought these peripherals anyway. All right, well, scroll works in a Word doc. Restart office, okay, whatever. Uh, okay, restart office. Oh, it's been applied. Whatever, but scrolling works, but if you wanna see it, maybe you can't see it. Okay, yeah. Well, it's not a good demonstration of it scrolling, but just look at the scroll bar on the side. Not that it needs to prove that it works. These mice are pretty good, uh, I guess. All right, let's see that DPI button. It'll change colors depending on what speed you have. I bet you can customize that too in the software. I'll show you the software when I get it installed. Oh, it's really fast now. When I get installed on that computer. 
Another thing I like about this is that it's very lightweight. It's very lightweight. Uh, I don't have a scale on me right now. It'd be a bit suspicious if I carried a scale at all times. Um, but, you know, it's very lightweight. Um, so, no need to worry about a heavy mouse slowing you down when gaming. Uh, there you go. I'll show you the software when I uh, get it installed on this one in a couple of weeks. But for you, it's going to be right now, pretty much, because editing. Alright, so we are in Razer Synapse, the software that we use to control the mouse as well. I just did a video, the second part of the video, on the keyboard. So we would click on the mouse right here. Here's all the customizations. I'll zoom in a little bit. So the first tab is called Customize. It's on that green bar there. I don't know if you see it. There it is. Customize Performance Calibration. So here's uh, Customize. You can customize what each button does. Here are all the customizable buttons. <clears throat> And then this one references the button on the bottom of the mouse. Uh, that one right there. Cycle up sensitivity status. I mean, you can customize it to do something else. I mean, even multimedia, right? Yeah, you can customize it for that too. So that means if you want to lift your mouse up and press that button so you can, uh, I don't know, increase the volume or whatever, <laughs> you can do that. So there's the customize tab, basically. I have it on defaults. I mean, it works as it is. Performance is, um, it changes, well, just how the mouse functions, <laughs> really. Uh, two sensitive, sensitivity stages. I have 400, 800, one fast, one slow. It can go all the way up to 30,000 DPI. And then the polling rate is data updates per second. So I guess how often it talks to the computer it's connected to. I have to set to 8,000 the maximum. Calibration, uh, a cutoff point, preferred distance regardless of the device. Okay, so I guess like how far you have to pick up the mouse, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, lift off and landing distance. Medium is fine, it works. I'm not worried. So it seems to be working. So there isn't as much customization on this as much as the keyboard had. I mean, it is a mouse. It does what it, do it does, and it does it well. It's a full-size big mouse that fits my hand. I like it. <clears throat> and for about like, I don't know, 60, 65 bucks, at least how, that's how much I got it for. It's a good deal. It's a good deal for what you're getting. So I brought my kitchen scale just to show how lightweight it is. I do like how uh, light this mouse is. Without the cable, or at least with part of the cable attached, it only weighs 58 grams, which is really good. It allows for very quick movements in games. It allows for uh, uh, quick responses when clicking stuff. Uh, you're more accurate. With a, with a lightweight mouse. And I mean, I don't care. It doesn't have any RGB on this thing, except for that button there, <laughs> which is the only instance of RGB on this thing. Because I mean, my hand is on it all the time, so why do I really care? I care more about on my keyboard because usually only one hand is on the keyboard when I'm gaming, or when even both are, numpad lights up and stuff, whatever. But yeah, on the mouse, my hand is covering the entire thing. 58 grams costs around 65 bucks where where I got it links will be in the description uh, I have to say it's a great deal uh, the cable is okay it looks like a shoelace to be honest but what can I say it's supposed to be a lightweight cable that can flex with you know how, how you use the mouse uh, yeah uh, essential buttons you know back and forth uh, for web pages uh, scroll click. I don't think you can tilt the scroll wheel. Yeah, I don't think so, but who cares? Who even uses that? Only if you're doing like horizontal scrolling, but in which case I use my keyboard for that. Or I just use the horizontal scroll bar. 
if my keyboard doesn't do that. Yeah, I'm thinking you tilt the scroll wheel left, left and right, which some mice can do. But for its purpose of a gaming mouse or a general purpose mouse, it's really good. It's a big mouse, so if you have big hands, this might be the one for you. Yeah. Either way, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.